Welcome to Baja. My name is Gerald Kubiak. That's my brother Patrick and my should-be brother Ralph. We grew up together in New Jersey in the early 90s, each of us learning how to ride a motorcycle at an early age. The riding in New Jersey was never any good. Matter of fact, the most memorable rides we had were getting chased by Officer Vanderklok. We never had wide open deserts, never thought of riding on long stretches of sandy beaches, and the idea of riding dirt bikes for days at a time was a dream fueled by watching clips of the Dakar rally at 3 o'clock in the morning. It was several years ago that we all found ourselves together again, this time in Southern California, and it wasn't long until we turned that dream into a reality. Just riding, walk up, pulling over up to the 55th anniversary of Gonzaga Bay, Alfonsias. And we took off from there, headed up to Cocos, stopped in to say hi, signed the book, and then we took off up Arroyo. Beautiful riding, nice and wet. We cruised up right past Nick's Cavern, Collarbone Cavern we call it right over to the Bay of LA. We've been here ever since, drinking some beers, baby. I first came to Baja over 15 years ago in search of a perfect wave. I found my wave, and little did I know that Baja found me. It wasn't long before I began exploring this vast barren peninsula on two wheels. In my opinion, there's no other place on earth like it. But Baja is no joke. Its majestic and peaceful nature is overshadowed by its dangerous claws and sharp teeth. From scorpions and tarantulas to cacti that shoot needles at you, Baja has a way of letting you know who's boss. Ralph and I were turning 40 this year, and this trip was a way to welcome a new decade. Baja has a way of keeping the years off. I often go to Baja and come back feeling younger and rejuvenated. It's a place where time stands still. A place where it's easy to forget about the pettiness and structure of the daily grind and focus on what matters most in life. Uh, yeah, only lost one bolt. One bolt? A non-essential. A non-essential bolt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised we haven't gotten a flat this ride. It was gnarly. It was gnarly. Yeah, between the rocks yesterday going up to San Borja and the rocks today. Skid plates. My skid plate got whacked once yeah. really hard. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Real hard. This trip was more than just riding. We opted to take shifts, each driving a chase truck instead of doing this trip solo. There would be two riders on and one in the chase. Luckily for Ralph and I, Patrick had a Baja prepped Ford Raptor that was about as fun to ride off-road as the bikes were. We decided to ride fewer miles each day in exchange for local sightseeing. We wanted to see the sights, smell the smells. There's so much to see and do in Baja, we wanted to check it out. We offloaded the bikes near San Felipe, about two hours south of the Tijuana border. Our journey took us along the Sea of Cortez coastline to the Bay of LA before making our way across the peninsula to the Pacific. We stopped in Catavina and explored prehistoric cave paintings until making our way over to San Catin where we ended the trip. All in all we covered over 500 miles in four days, a birthday I'll never forget. Come on inside 
Taking their ride to nowhere We'll take their ride